Sir. All right, doctor. Bring me to where I need to be. It's a good fit, don't you think? The bald suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Hey. A lot of names to process. I'm glad so many people made it. Well, don't mind me. Go on ahead. Well, don't mind me. Go on ahead. All right, here's nothing more. Uh, so where are we now? Processing chamber? I don't like the white jackets and the blue suits. I guess I'll be wearing a blue suit any time now, so I guess I'll fit in better. Huh? It's gonna be okay, right? Yeah, all right. What are you doing? Hey, just follow your guy. Once we get everything sorted out here, we'll show you to your rooms. You're going to be fine. Don't worry. Everybody's comforting me. Uh, what Such are these a things? Family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Why, thank you. Are these like stasis pods? Excuse me. Just follow your guy. He'll get you all situated. Go on. Nothing to worry about. Such a lovely family you yep. have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Yeah, what are you doing? Mrs. Callahan. Hey there. Oh, close call, huh? And to think I thought building the vault in the neighborhood was a bad idea. Look at my husband. He's bulletproof, I tell you. End of the world comes, and he's still smiling. Excuse me. Oh, you two have a baby. Oh, I guess he's gonna grow up here now, huh? I guess he does. Okay. Just what about you? He'll get you all situated. Mr. Callahan. Hey. Guess we're some of the lucky ones, right? Whew. So glad I signed up. Best decision of my life. We made it. Someone's looking out for us, huh? I guess they're happy. Go on. I guess we should be happy, now. considering the situation outside. Who are you, Mrs. Abel? Excuse me. Oh. Oh my god. Just step in here and put your vault okay. seat on. I can't stop shaking. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. All right. See? Thank God. Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? Yeah, one second. And let's talk to Mr. Abel first. Excuse me. That elevator. Sean's oh, acting up. Oh. Could you help? Yeah, one minute. We, we made it. Just gotta let the He's being fussy. From here, could you, I guess. Um, should I sh comfort Sean? Sure. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Sean. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Oh, this is for putting on a vault suit. And will we get our pit boy as well? She's going in. Shall I take Sean for now, Nora, while you put on your suit? Decontamination pod. Oh, well, there we go. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Well, this can be good for the baby. What now? This is the one. Here. Open it. Are you okay? I'm okay. Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Let the boy go. 
Oh my god, they killed my wife. They kidnapped my son. And now we're going into stasis. How many years will we be in stasis? I guess my mission is clear. <coughs> Retrieve my son. Everything is frozen. Started out of time. Exit Vault 111. I guess that's my first real quest. And yeah, I thought something would be shady, but I didn't expect it to go like this. I thought we would meet other people in the vault and adjust to vault life, but no. It all got in serious very fast and it's freezing. Um, let's have a look at our vault suit. It says 111 on the back. I still have my uh, giant moustache. Um, is there a quest? Menu yet or something? Oh, I got weapons over here. Or at least <laughs> this is blocking, fist fighting. Uh, anything else? Heavy attack? Normal attack? No, it's the same. Uh, what else? I don't have any inventory yet. AP? What's AP? Hidden, I can stay hidden, and this is sprinting, but there's no menu yet or something. I guess I have to trigger that later on. Or is there another button? No, I don't think so yet. So yeah, I don't have my pit boy yet, that's about it. I think that's a menu. Okay, what do we have? Control panel. He must be very angry with his wife being killed, but most of all sad. Um, is that her? Did she lose her hair? Oh, God. Why would Voltaire do this? Uh, is it her or pressure release? Can we... Oh wait, she's in here, right. Oh god. Come on! There has to be a release! Try it. Come on, come on, come on! Oh god! Yeah, she's done for. Nora, are you still alive? How far can you do this? Then I'll get shot back. I promise. I got a wedding ring from her. Uh, there's no way I can see what I have in my inventory yet. So yeah, she's definitely dead. I must avenge her. That's totally different from Fallout 3 when there was no backstory like that. Um, what about this one? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? I think this was Mrs. Abel. God. This is Mr. Abel, I guess. They're all dead. God. What about this one? They're all dead. Why? Yeah, these are the Why Callahans. Fold one 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 monitoring terminal. Welcome to Robco Industries TM Termlink. Thank you for choosing Voltec. Familiar uh, names like Robco. Uh, let's start with cryogenic array. Cryogenic array offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. So how come I didn't die? I guess I was lucky. And they told me I was a backup because I have the same DNA as my son. Life support. Offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Still the same message and pot occupant status. C1 empty, Mrs. and Mr. Callahan, Mr. and Mrs. Abel. Not applicable. Not applicable? What does this say? Deceased, cause of death, asphyxiation due to life support failure. I guess it goes the same for the others. 
Yes. Yeah, this is the same. Let's check my wife. Nora and Sean, infant. Unknown. Pod door manual override engaged. What about myself here? Flinty. Remote override engaged. Unknown. And there is Mr. Russell in the back. Yeah, asphyxiation. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we need to get out of the vault, I guess. There's no oh one God. inside here. Can we uh, activate this thing? Sliding door. Let's open up. There's the icon where I need to be. Can we go in here? Oh, I guess we can. But I have to go to here for the main quest. Uh, let's go over here. See what's going on here. I guess more stasis cryopods. Clipboard. I took the clipboard. <laughs> I can take items. Cool. Let's just take everything I find. Coffee cup. Can I... Uh, Hold them and throw them around. Vol 11, 111 jumpsuit new. Can I? All right, if I hold the A button, I can carry them around. And if I press it, then they, he picks it up. Uh, anything else? They're, they're dead. I'm just trying to oh open one. In case another pot opens up itself. Another computer. Let's see who they, these people are. It's the same thing over here, I guess. Oops. Yes, it is. Mr. DiPietro, Cindy Coffrin, Mrs. and Mr. Whitfield, and Mr. and Mrs. Coffrin. I guess they were a family, family Cofrin. They all died of the same thing. There they are. Alright, let's move on. There's another coffee cup. Let's just try and throw it. Can we? <laughs> okay. I'm trying to throw this thing. How does one throw a, um, like this? I guess I can just pick it up, or maybe I'll learn it later in the tutorial or anything. <coughs> okay, let's try to go this way. What is this? Restricted area. Well, is that where we need to be? Because this one is locked. Inaccessible. Access unauthorized personnel only. Warning, this door will deregulate temp and ADM to suboptimal levels in 8 minutes. Malfunction in emergency access door override. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative for service. Okay, I can uh, transfer toolbox? What does that do? Oh, this is like a... Uh, stores things. Go. My inventory has adjustable wrench, three clipboards, coffee cup screwdriver, jumps out new, I guess they're the same. Damage resist, wedding ring, we got two wedding rings, I have one for myself, I guess my credits. Now I don't have to store anything yet. I can sort though. Alphabetically? Yeah. Let's take anything I can find. Maybe I can sell a later ball peen hammer. Sure. Um, but yeah, still no inventory here yet. I wonder what my uh, pip button, pip boy function where I will get it. Okay, for now, let's proceed down this corridor, entering the vault deeper inside the vault, I guess, because this ain't the exit yet. Ooh. A boggle ready. Security baton. Is that a weapon? Yes, that's a weapon. Baton equipped. 
Okay, blocking and... Okay, that's a heavy attack. AP is like action points. It's to semi uh, turn based. Safety first. What's over here? Fire control. Ooh. Flip lighter, pre war money. I'll take it all, I guess. I can inspect it like this. Guess this is my first money. Okay, for now let's just leave items like a coffee cup over here. I can sit in the chair. There's a stim pack. That's for healing and two flip lighters. Uh, what can I... There's nothing inside the desk. Okay, it indicates it's empty. Extermination is everyone's job. Pump. I don't know how to use a stim pack yet. Oh, there they are. Stim pack and security baton. Those are the things I can do right now. Let's uh, hack this security terminal. Or just use it. Fold 111 security instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only. Violation VTP 01011. Fold 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. We can even load a holotape. We'll do it later after we look at the operations protocol manual. Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from Voltec, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Volt residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Volt. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Fold entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. So we're um, getting a little bit of info about what happened. Staff duties. Okay, there was more. Or <laughs> I'm lo losing track. Okay, this is the, the great message. Staff duties got three things. Science staff. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardio, pulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. All right. So they were experimenting on people. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by Voltec. Then we have facility services and maintenance. Due to the nature of Volt 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of, the, of these role, roles is left to the overseer discretion. And we've got all clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Voltec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, Voltec personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Voltec, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Voltec will attend to their needs remotely once Volt 111 staff has been evacuated. And I guess they have been evacuated and we got mandatory shelter period. Volt 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. 
Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from vault -Tac, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from vault -Tac. And I guess that...